Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your answer. Now, I, I know we did, may disagree on petrol vehicles and, and policy on that, but I do welcome what you said. And thank you for writing to the government and some of the bodies that are in charge of this, because it's something that does concern me, particularly a couple of things that were in the report were the use of child slave labor to mine cobalt in Congo. And uh, much of the cobalt that's used in electric batteries does come from Congo, and 20% of it is um, produced in artisanal mines which use child slave labor. And, you know, I, I do welcome the fact that you say you're going to make sure, and you have made sure that TFL doesn't procure any vehicles um, using um, cobalt or lithium, which is um, sourced unethically. But if you are aiming uh, to uh, ensure that uh, all vehicles, all new vehicles in London are electric by 2030, I don't personally agree with that as an aim, but that's what you say you want to do. How are you going to make sure that vehicles outside TFL do not use child slave labor uh, to mine cobalt and do not take lithium from the area in Chile uh, where most lithium is produced that takes up um, huge amounts of water and has displaced uh, local subsistence farmers from that area? Can, can I just say, Chair, through you, that I, I, I agree with a lot of what's been said. And actually, this is a good example where, where we can work together and there are things we, we, we share we share common ground with. So one of the reasons, uh, Senator Member Curzon, why I've written to the government is see if the government and CEMA can work together, because you're right. Even if, let's assume, best-case scenario, all the vehicles we procure are then in a way that's humane uh, for the reasons you've said the current system is inhumane in relation to the way the, the, the cobalt is dealt with. There are still those vehicles outside of our control that will clearly have used child labour and other you know, breaches of human rights. That's why I want to work with the government to see if we can impact uh, the entire market. Uh, and that's why I'm saying, for example, are there strings we can attach to government bailouts in relation to the automotive industries and other, other, there are other things we can do. Some of it, I suspect, will be cross-border working with uh, you know, countries across Europe and across the world. Uh, where we may disagree with, with, I think the EU never have to play, uh, and everything the EU does you think is, is not good. But this is a good example where the European Union could have a role to play in relation to their procurement power. So uh, any ideas that you've got, I'm really happy to listen to, but I think you pose a real challenge to me. How can you on the one hand say you're ethical electric vehicles and other reasons why it's good, but on the other hand, the source of these batteries is one that's inhumane. And that's why working with you and others, I think we're going to address this, uh, this issue and take it seriously. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor.